Hi guys! Welcome to London Diaries with Shika. So today's video is going to be a review on Tom Ford's eye defining pen and Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder collaboration eye cajol. So if you would like to see my views on these two products then please keep watching. Let's start with Tom Ford's eye defining pen. So this is how it looks like. It's double-sided so there is a precise nib on one side and there is a brush kind of tip on the other side and the idea is that you use the precise nib to make a sharp line and then you can use the brush to fill it in. So this eyeliner retails for £43 which is a bit expensive for just an eyeliner but um, I've been using it for a few weeks and I'll go through some pros and cons that I have noticed. Now, first of all, one good thing about this is that it does not bleed. So when you're drawing a line and you need it to be really pre precise for that cat eye look that you're trying to achieve, this is your friend. It is really, really sharp. Um, one of the other benefits is that it is really long lasting. So I did a half cat eye in the morning around 7 a.m. and now it is 8.30 p.m. So it has lasted me for more than 12 hours. So I'm going to zoom in to just try and show you the lasting power. This hasn't been touched up at all. So let's have a look. Okay, let's zoom out again. Now, I think that is pretty remarkable that it's lasted me for more than 12 hours because I have extremely oily eyelids, plus I have extremely watery eyes. So the combination of two makes sure that almost every single eyeliner, I either it fades away or it transfers on top of my lid. Um, with this one, it does not move at all. Um, so as far as Tom Ford's eye defining pen is concerned, the pros are it does not bleed, it does not transfer, it is pretty black, and most importantly, it lasts more than 12 hours for even someone who has really oily lids like me. Um, so that's for the pros. Now let's look at the cons. For me, the biggest con is the price. It is 43 pounds, which I think is too much for an eyeliner. Um, at the moment, I will have to sit on the fence because although I really like the product, uh, I'm a bit put off by the price tag. Now, if this pen is going to last me for a year, then after a year I can say, yes, I totally love this because, you know, if an eyeliner has lasted me for a year and cost me 43 pounds, it's still justified. But if I am going to need to buy this every three to four months or every even six months or seven months, I don't think I'm going to be too impressed by it. Um, so that's my views on the Tom Ford eye defining pen. Let's discuss Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder collaboration eye cajol now. This is how it looks. So again, double sided. On one side we have a black nib and on the other side we have nude which I am particularly excited about because I always like to line my waterline with the nude color. Um, I have used this product for a couple of weeks now um, and this is what I find about it that it is extremely easy to apply now it glides on like a dream it's that creamy my issue is that after an hour it's disappeared now i don't know if that's because i have extremely watery eyes and that's why it's just fading away but whenever is <laughs> pretty much no lifeline to be honest and it wasn't on the cheap side as well it cost 22 pounds for an eye cajol now i would expect a bit more lasting power 
in a product such as this one. Um, I'm a bit disappointed with this product and there is no way I'm going to repurchase and I will just try and make sure that I use it off basically and that's not because I like it but because I have it. So that's my views on Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder collaboration. It has not worked for me. It is not lasting for me at all. I I quite like how creamy the texture is, but unfortunately it doesn't last on my eyelids at all. So that's my views on Tom Ford's Eye Defining Pen and Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder Eye Casual. Um, I like the performance of Tom Ford's Eye Defining Pen. My concern is the price. I have to see how long this eyeliner is going to last me before I'm able to make a decision on whether it's worth the money or not. As far as Victoria Beckham Eye Kajal is concerned, it has not worked for me. So that's a product that I will not repurchase. I hope this is helpful for you if you are you know, wanting to purchase either of these items or if you just needed a second opinion. If you have any questions or any eyeliners that you love, then please do leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, please keep smiling. Concern. My pros are that the oh gosh, my pros, my pros. I like Tom Ford's performance. Tom Ford's performance. Bloody hell. That you 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 use. I forgot. <laughs> that was like, this is how it looks. I think we should start again.